What's up, everybody? I'm Slot, a movie guy. Here's my movie review of Bird Box, directed by Suzanne Beer, stars Sandra Bullock, Javante Rose, John Malkovich, Sarah Polson, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, five years after an ominous, unseen present drives most society to suicide, a mother and her two children make a desperate bid to reach safety. And this is an apocalyptic film, and it came out last year in the late December. Sorry for the late review of it. And I like apocalyptic movies because they're very intriguing to me. There's some bad ones I've seen in the past and some I've seen recent that were good. So I was very interested with this movie and see how it is. And I say it's a good movie. It's not a perfect movie, which I'll get to the negatives. But what I like about this movie is the storyline and how they did it. Because basically, usually apocalyptic movies, they show like everybody's like, having a like, good time and all, but then something drastically happens and they show like all the crazy stuff and then show the ending stuff. This film kind of does it very different, which really shocked me because as I was watching it from like the, the first, the closest, like the first act, it changes a little bit because it shows us what's going, what's going on now and then shows us what happened like 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 the, the in the, like in the past and stuff. So it shows after it shows like what's happening now. It shows what's ha what happened, what led on to it. So it kind of goes back and forth, like but to what's happening now and what what happened, what led on to it. So I thought the movie did that, executed that perfectly well. It didn't like feel like its scenes was like left out and stuff. So you basically have to watch it just to stay focused. If you don't, you kind of will get lost. You'll be like, huh. So when I watched it, I was basically like glued. I was like, okay, okay. So I followed it through. And the it doesn't take long to get to the apocalyptic part when they show what led on to it. It really gets it going. It did not do no little heavy exhibition. It kicked right in the gear. And I like if apocalyptic movie does that. Some popular movies just show little hints and take long, but this movie does not take long. You're like, you're in for a ride, like a roller coaster ride. So you're in there. And I thought that was really, really executed perfectly well. And that what leads on to the pacing. The pacing, there's not a single dull moment in this film. And I thought that, and I was watching the movie and I was like, this is flowing well. This is, I'm not getting bored. So I was basically like invested and I, and, and, on, and on the edge of my seat. So I didn't know what was going to happen. So I was just right there, just like glued, like very interesting. And so one of the things I do like about it is it does have a horror aspect to it. Even though you might not, it, it might not, because the, because the way it, it they did it is humans' eyes, like when they see things, because basically Sandra Bullock and them, they have to wear blindfolds. So they can't see nothing because if they do, something bad happens. They end up killing themselves, driving them crazy. And I thought that was hard enough. You don't necessarily have to show a creature in an outbreak and stuff like that. Like, because there was a report about it saying that they were going to add the creatures in it. That was supposed to be the main, like, antagonist to the outbreak and stuff. Make driving people with the suicide. But they didn't. So what did I think about it? I think that was the right approach. It was perfectly done. You didn't need to show it. I like how they show it, like the wind and stuff. Like if they see something, like it's like the wind or something, like the leaves and stuff, give you hint that it's something dangerous coming. And I thought that was really done well. I was actually fair to self. I almost could have closed my eyes because it felt like I was in part in the in the academic outbreak, and that was really really crazy. So <laughs> I was actually like, oh my god, what's going to happen? What? That was really done well. So I really give the directing credit because Suzanne Beard does a fantastic job of directing. You can really tell that this this female director did a fan, did, was 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 really director and tell out for this movie. She really does a fantastic job here, and I really give her two thumbs up. One of the things I like about this movie is the characters. You actually did. There's not one character that annoyed me in the film. Usually, apocalyptic movies, I have a problem with the. The, the the characters because characters are like so annoying 
And one character that could have been annoying, but it worked well, and he's fantastic anyways in any movie, John Malkovich. His character could have been one of the annoying ones. I was kind of was like hoping not he don't be annoying, but in this film, it works well. I like, because he's one of them characters that kind of has like a jerk. He doesn't really trust anybody and stuff like certain characters during the film as it goes on. I'm not going to spoil it, but his character is just kind of like, like, just like, huh, like, very kind of like uh, a jerk. So you don't really, like, you really won't like him, but in the end of the day, you will. So he worked well. So it's, he did a fantastic job in this film. One of the things I really liked of the acting is Sandra Bullock. She was the driving force of the film, which she's the main character. I really felt her, I really felt her acting was completely real here. It's almost like she really put... It did not feel fake at all. Sandra Bullock here was just so fantastic. She's an amazing actress anyway. She can act. She could do anything pretty much. All the other films I've seen her do in the past, she acted great. But here, I say this is one of her fantastic performances. And the kids did well too with Sandra Bullock. They both, the kids act, acting was really fantastic. In the dangerous situation, when Sandra Bullock told him, don't take your blindfolds off, she was like she was like a hard nose to those kids and I really felt that. Sandra Bullock, fantastic. Two thumbs up for you. You did a fantastic job. And her chemistry with Trevante Rose, who does a fantastic job too, in this situation, they do well together. I really bought into their chemistry in this film. They really did well. Fantastic well. I there's so much to talk about it. I'm not gonna go like too long on it, but their chemistry, mm, fantastic at best. One of the things I I will say in this movie, it does have some hard do hard vibes to it. Like some scenes, what you see, it's kind of very disturbing. It's kind of like, huh? It really does do that. I actually like felt the fear vibe of it. So there's some uh, stuff here that just kind of like can just shock you, give you goosebumps, and the stuff that happens in this film, you kind of like, huh. Cause it puts you on the edge of your seat. So that was like, hmm, you just didn't know what was going to happen. One of the things I will do like to camera work. The camera work is absolutely, it's good. It's great. I like the movement. It puts you in the, the, the academic outbreak mode. So fantastic. I loved it. So camera work really does well. And characters all that everything does well in this film one of my issues with this film is was the where i said the story was unique but basically with the way the story they did it is you kind of can predict what's going to happen because pretty much when they show you the be beginning what's happening now and when you look at the past you kind of like okay i know this character is going to go i know this character is and that so it kind of can be a little predictable at times in this film. So you could pretty much know what's going to happen. But I was so much at the edge of my seat that I was kind of like, okay, I, I, I can, I know some care of that, but I was just so invested on what the situation was going on. So that's just one of my real issues with the film. One of it is we don't have answers a little bit what's going to happen, what's there, because by the third act, you're kind of like, wouldn't this happen that happened? So kind of third act is kind of like the kind of like that the happy ending basically, but it's kind of leading questions on this thing is st this outbreak still is kind of mm. so I don't really I don't know it's just kind of I want to know the little answers. That's one of the things I had a problem with this film. Overall, this is a fantastic film. I think you should check it out. It does have issues, but. I still think this is one of one of the best apocalyptic movies I've seen in recent years. I think it's great. So I recommend you checking out on Netflix. I'm gonna give Bird Box a solid B. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you think about the film? Did you like it or not? Let me know. I would love to know your opinions about Bird Box. And let me know what your favorite apocalyptic movie is. If it was if it was if if, it was, if I was to have to choose which one is my favorite, it would probably be Cargo, the film that came out last year in 2018. It was a great film. I recommend you checking it out. I really loved that film. It was one of my favorite films, 2018. I really enjoyed that film. So I recommend you please check that out. 
Anyways, guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button. That's why I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.